Hello everybody and welcome to the Murren Music YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to fix this peeling binding on this acoustic guitar. So I have here my Martin D18 acoustic guitar and you can see here that the binding at the waist of the guitar is peeling away. Now usually this is caused by humidity and or temperature changes in the guitar. So the best way to prevent this from happening is to keep your acoustic guitar at a consistent humidity and temperature. Now I have this Planet Waves sound hole humidifier that I keep in the guitar every time it's in the case. And I also have this custom built humidifier that I keep in the top of the case. And this is just a travel Q-tip case that I drilled some holes in and then put a sponge into to give me some more extra humidity control. But I usually only use this one in the winter when things are really dry out. Now you can see that even though I've taken these steps to prevent this from happening, there is still some binding that is peeling. This isn't the end of the world, but it is something that we need to address and fix. What we're going to use to glue this binding back to the guitar body is what's called cyanoacrylate glue, or CA glue for short. The CA glue that most people are familiar with is super glue, which usually comes in this kind of toothpaste tube, and it's pretty thick, and I don't think I've ever been able to use it without either squirting it out the back of the tube, or just getting it everywhere and gluing my fingers together and making a huge mess. So we're not going to use this, and I don't recommend that you use it either. Now what you may not realize is that you can get different viscosities of CA glue. So usually people always get this thick stuff in the common super glue tube, but they also make a medium, and that is what I use most of the time around the house for gluing plastic parts together and things like that. But for this purpose right now, I recommend getting the thin CA glue. I picked up this kit off of Amazon and it comes with the bottle of glue, some nozzle tops, and these handy little super thin straws that are going to help us get the glue right down in the crack and not anywhere else. So I've got my guitar here with the problem area of the binding, but before I start gluing, I need to check that the binding can in fact push all the way up against the guitar waist. I think that this came loose just from repeated seasonal changes in the guitar humidity, but if it popped loose from the guitar being neglected and fully drying out too much, then the waist might have shrunk too much on the guitar and you won't be able to push that binding in all the way tight. Now you don't want to force it back into place because you could end up cracking the binding and at that point you'll create more problems for yourself and you'll probably have to remove a whole piece of the binding and replace it with a new piece. So before you glue the binding you want to make sure that the guitar is at a appropriate humidity. Now I know that this guitar right now is around 50% humidity and I know that this binding can easily be pushed back tight against the guitar so I'm ready to start the glue up. Now I'm just going to use this little extension straw with the thin CA glue and I'm going to squirt it down into that crack and then I'm just going to hold this tight for a couple of minutes so that the glue can set up. You could try and clamp it with like some painter's tape or something like that but I think it's easier just to sit here for the couple minutes while the glue dries to make sure that everything stays nice and tight. Now I want to be careful not to put too much glue in the crack so that I can prevent it from squeezing out and I want to keep it off the finish as much as possible otherwise it could end up with a big sticky mess. And with that this guitar binding is fixed. Now obviously you can see that there's still a crack in the finish here and it's not a perfect like the day it was made repair but this guitar has a couple other blemishes and cracks in the finish anyways and this is my main acoustic that I play all the time so I don't care about making it a museum piece. All I care about is making a functional repair that's going to keep this guitar playable and stop it from getting any worse. Now, hopefully you don't have this problem happen on any of your own guitars, but if you do, then now you know the way that you can go about fixing it. If you like this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up. Otherwise, I hope you had a wonderful day and I will see you next time.